Now, as we were hearing earlier, unemployment may at last be heading downwards in the West Midlands, but could we be doing better at creating new companies to generate more jobs? Well, our science correspondent David Gregory Kumar is in the offices of one startup with very big ambitions. Uh, but David, those offices still looking a little on the bare side. Well, Mary, they've only been here eight weeks. We can forgive them not putting the pictures up just yet. Now, what this Birmingham company wants to do is create a new type of antenna for mobile phones, for tablet computers, and it's all based on research from the university. It's a really clever idea, and this is actually one of the prototypes with a prototype aerial inside. This is a very smart phone. The modern smartphone may generate a lot of excitement. Yes, quite, but let's face it, these days they all look the same. A glass-fronted slab. So the real innovation with smartphones these days is taking place inside. And here in Birmingham, well, they've come up with an idea that they say could end up inside every single one of these in the future. This brand new Birmingham company has a hobby buying broken second-hand phones and tearing them apart to learn more about the antennas inside them, up to six in every phone. These six antennas have to be designed into the phone, they have to be characterised, they have to be controlled, you will have software, you will have different connections, and it's a whole cobweb of, of connections and control for this, these antennas. Despite the looks, this is probably the most advanced smartphone in the world. It contains just one antenna, invented here in Birmingham, but that single antenna can do the work of six or more. Up to around $20 is the cost of, a, of the antennas, just the antenna part of a mobile phone. Um, that's getting on for 20% of the total cost of manufacturing the phone. With our antenna, it costs less than a dollar. The scientist behind much of this has now left the university to be part of this brand new company, and he's pretty ambitious. Not just every phone, but every mobile device. Wow, dream big? Well, wow, thanks so much, <laughs> but yes, we have to. <laughs> The question is, are there more gems like this hiding in our universities? And of course, that's a good question. Let's talk to Mark Payton from the investment company that's put money into this firm. Um, Mark, this is based on university research. So what does the university get out of this? Um, well, security, really. So security because our investment capital means we can attract management team around it. Employees have security. They're going to be paid, frankly, in a startup environment. The university gets funded back to its research as well university gets a, a seat at the table, so it gets to see that technology going forwards while having an equity stake in what we hope will be a very prosperous spin-out company from the University of Birmingham. Now you're working in uh, eight different Midlands universities, you've got ideas from them. Is it hard to get investment in Midlands ideas? It's incredibly challenging to get investment, and not because the idea itself is not world-leading, it's because the capital within the UK predominantly resides around the South East, around London, Oxford, Cambridge, and to get that capital up into the Midlands is very, very challenging, and we are one of a very few fund managers that are prepared to take that challenge and back businesses like that. And does that mean that ideas might be falling through the gaps in the Midlands? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're privileged and honoured to be able to sort of capitalise and, um, and nurture those through, but I'm sure that businesses that we're unable to support because we cannot uh, support that many are indeed falling through the gaps. And very briefly, this is an idea that's obviously going to make a lot of money if it works, but what about jobs? Yeah, I mean, this, and like a number of our other investments, will, I mean, we are investing, actually, for a turn of investment as an investment manager. But this will create jobs across the Midlands and further afield, actually. And a number of our businesses have started off with two, three, four people like this and now employ 100, 200 people. Mark, thank you very much for that. One final bit of good news. Replacing six antennas with one reduces the drain on your battery. Better battery life. Back to you, Mary. That's got to be good news, David. Thank you.